Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Master Key, where, since the previous episode, I looked at all of my screenshots and just reviewed them for information that I hadn't seen before, and that was a very useful exercise. Because, for example, I mean, also just a good time, um, look down here. There's like a sewer that since we have scuba gear, we could totally swim into, right? So let's head down there first thing. So I think I should be able to swim there just from over here. Yeah. So if I go in here, sure enough, we're downstairs. Neat. So what do we want to do down here? I guess I can climb out here, or I can just keep swimming. If I keep swimming, what are we looking at? Also, what are those things? Okay, I can hook shot across here. So I could do this, but it doesn't help me. And actually, now I'm just going to get ouched. Oh, right, I can dive underneath. I forgot. If I press the button, I can do this. Okay, so I need to do that, apparently. These things look like they might be, like, landmines or something. So I'm going to try to ignore them. I don't think there's anything else for me to see in this room. So over here in the next room, I guess there's going to be a switch to unlock a something somewhere. Can I hit this with my hookshot? Uh, no, the thing in the water I just kind of traveled over. And now I can't get back out of the water over here. There's the switch, so I need to hookshot around somehow. Okay, so I composited some screenshots together. Actually, let me go ahead and show that really quick. So here's a look at the full room with four composited screenshots, and you can see a path that I'm gonna take. So let's actually do it. I need to go here, then I need to go down here, then I need to break the mushrooms, then cross over here, break these mushrooms, cross back down here, and break these mushrooms, ouch. And that enables me to get to the switch, which enables me to continue to the north. And so to the north, we find a boss battle. Oh no. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. These are enemies that I can kill. Seeing them is perhaps the hard part. All right, alligator, you should come towards me. Oh, I got knocked into the water. Okay, you're dead. Where's the other shooty guy? Over here somewhere. Okay, I killed them all, apparently. Good for me. And there is a treasure chest on the north side. Is there anything else in this room? I don't think so. I think it's all about the treasure chest. So what did we win from fighting these bosses? A half heart! Alright, that's acceptable. So I think that's everything in the sewer. Let's move on to other suspicions that I have. Oh yeah, I forgot. One of them's right here on the screen. Look at the rock to my right. That looks like the type of rock that the dwarf miners break. Can I break it? No. And there doesn't appear to be a dwarf miner here. So what's going on there? Maybe if I bring coffee to all six, I'll get my own pickaxe and I'll be able to break this? Possibly. So here's another thing. This house had a chest in it I couldn't get to. The back of the house, it looks like we could swim inside. So let's see if I can find a way around. So I think if I just go this way, get into the water, Swim around here. Can I just swim into the back of the house? Where am I? Uh, maybe right here? Maybe right here? Maybe right here? Hmm. Oh! I found it! I had to go down into the water. I pressed my action button in order to go under the water, and then I was able to get in here. Okay, what do we find? It's a half heart! Hooray! Near the bottom left of the map, I never returned here, 
with my extra long hook shot to try to get at this chest. So let's see what we find. It's a lot of money! Hooray! Back near the very start of the game, I feel like this wall is suspicious. Haha! -ha! And it was! Okay, there's a cave here. Where does it lead us? To a tiny room with a chest with... Uh... Whoa! I got an achievement! City! You reached the city. Wow. Okay. It just warped me to a new place. Unexpected. And there's a chest here that warps me back. Amazing! Alright, well let's go back to the city. I can also use these coins. Great. Am I on the map? I am not. So this is just like a new zone, presumably. How large is it going to be? Potentially quite. We've got some new construct monsters over here. Can I fight them? Uh, I don't think I'm dealing damage to them. Eh, maybe I am. Sometimes. Sometimes they're blocking it with a shield. And... I feel like this is some kind of late game discovery, and so I'm going to choose not to come back here right now. So now I'm back to the original cave that we originally escaped from at the very start of the game. It looks like this might break. It does not. Aha! This is the room that we originally fell into at the very beginning of the game, and I was able to break its right wall. So let's see where this leads us. So going further to the right, we find a place where I would need the scuba gear to swim. And there's nothing in here. I can't get out over here. Very suspicious. Can I hookshot anywhere? Well, I think I can only speculate about what this room might be for in the future. I'm glad to have found it. Did I try breaking this wall? Yeah, nothing there. How about this one? Alright, those looked less suspicious to me. Still near the start of the map. To the north is where we found the scary bunny. I never tried swimming to the south of here. So let's see what we find. It is a screen with the rock, but not a dwarf? Or is he there? I can't interact with him. It looks like there's something in front of this rock, but I'm not sure what. Okay. Suppose I hookshot over here? Oh, it doesn't let me. That's interesting. What about down here? Or here? It lets me stand here. Is there a reason? Not that I can see. And then I'm blocked by rocks over here. And there's possibly a place to stand there that I'm not sure why I would. I think this is definitely suggesting that there's going to be more types of movement power-ups that it's hard for me to anticipate. Or something. Alright, well for the moment this will just be another mystery dead end. Oh my goodness! I am just trying a bunch of weird stuff since I found so many secret paths, and I was able to break a tree over here. Uh, we're just a couple screens away from where I last was. So what do we find over here? This is crazy. It is a chest! With a gem! Okay, that's nice. And also some hints of what might be to come. And at this point, I'm gonna swing at random trees in case it's useful. I have a feeling it won't be. Alright, interesting. Well, working under the assumption that eventually I'm going to buy everything since I just found another gem, let's also spend some money and buy this gem and go visit the dragon again in case we get another reward. Hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm back with more gems. Do you have anything for me? 
Did I have five more? Wow. All right, what do you got? It is a bigger coin purse. Just what I wanted. Now I can store dot 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 999 money. Okay, great. I'm so glad. And is that my only reward for you at this point? Just gonna double check. I still had one more gem, but uh, you're gonna require more. I've managed to get, accumulate 16 gems at this point. I think it's triangular numbers, so it might be like 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and the next one would be like 21 gems. Maybe? I'm not sure if that's correct, where I get rewards, where each time it increases by one. Still haven't figured out how to get over here. Is there anything clever I can try? I feel like these rose bushes, or whatever they are, are eventually... Mmm, yeah. If I could climb up, and maybe I could, like, hook shot between them or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright, well, the next thing on my list is to try to bring a coffee to the dwarf that we found near the bottom right of the map, near the witch. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad. So, I'm just gonna kinda go for it. Oops. Alright, so I mostly need to go right and slightly down. Uh, I can't run in the shallows, though. This is going to slow me down. I hadn't really thought about that. Also going to take a bit of damage, but that's okay. I guess I can't swim fast anywhere. But we're most of the way there already, and we still have half of our time and our coffee. So down over here. can mostly just avoid bad guys. Can I run on this? I can. Okay, so I can run in the shallows. I was wrong. And the dwarf is just, like, down here, right? Yeah! Hey, guy! I brought you coffee! Enjoy! He's so happy! He's gonna mine this rock! Ta-da! And now he's happy. And, as a result, I get a treasure chest! What do we got? It's a gem! Alrighty! Can I break this wall? I cannot. All right, well, according to my HUD, it says I've got three of the coffee dwarves done at this point. So we've got three more, and then something good will happen, apparently. But I have some other exploration I'd like to do farther to the north. The mushroom, I've been looking at this quest, and it looks like it's going to be difficult. <laughs> so we're going to hold off on that one for a little while. Oh, wow! I just managed to break a hole to the north over here, which is a screen I've never been to. Except that my own screenshot map says I have been here and it was a dead end. Let's see if this is what I think it is. Uh, hmm. Oh, my own screenshot map just shows this as a dark area because it was an unlit forest that I had to just use my lantern. Okay. So, yeah, I have been here before. Ouch. Uh, let me get away from you. And what appeared to be a dead end was actually not a dead end. But this was kind of the south end of the dark jungle. I was trying to go back up here anyway. Or the dark forest, I think I've been calling it. Um, because there was a screen that I thought I might be able to use the hookshot on that looked like it might be profitable. But now I'm also just, ouch, swinging my charged up sword in more places because there appear to be a lot of random trees that can be broken. So I'll keep an eye out for them. And it's actually the screen just to the north of here that I wanted to reinvestigate because there's a chest in the middle of some trees. First of all, we'll deal with you. And sure enough, some of the trees break. It's often the case that there are sticks nearby uh, and I don't need to hold down the button and charge my attack in order to break the sticks, but I think I was accidentally doing that the first time I discovered I could break one of these trees. All right, what's inside this chest? It's money! That said, there is an area to the upper left that I've never gone on this screen. So let's check it out. Uh, you're gonna come to life. So let's be careful with you first. So I've never swam across here in order to get to this bit. And, oh, I didn't even need 
Did I just burn a tree just by swinging my sword in this general direction? I think I did, maybe. Okay, fascinating. And so this should just be a shortcut back to a Grim Reaper? Yeah. Okay, so this is somewhere I've been before. This shortcut might help me get the mushroom somewhere, maybe? Okay, maybe there's a bunch of shortcuts through trees that I need to find and unlock that's going to make the mushroom quest more doable. That's a possibility I hadn't really considered. It's now later in the day for me. The neighbors had started mowing the lawn and it was loud, and so I stopped playing earlier. So I don't remember where I was before, but I'm just picking up with other things that I have yet to explore that was in my list of notes. I've never gone to the left. This is as far to the left in the map as we've ever gone before. Can I go into the waterfall? Doesn't seem like it. What if I swim down? No, going underneath the water doesn't seem to help. What about this waterfall? Also no. Interesting. Um, in that case, it doesn't look like there's a lot I can do here. How would I end up getting to that chest? I don't know. I think this does lend credence to the idea I'll get climbing gloves and be able to climb up those vines or rose bushes or whatever they are, though. Well, I've made my way back to the sliding ice area, because now that I know that I do have some control, then I think I should be able to navigate what little maze thing is over here. So let's carefully try to get myself positioned so that I can go this way. And if we go to the left, then I can stay on the ice. Gently. Oh, that guy's going to be shooting at me the whole time. That's not very nice. Okay, well, if I stay about here, wait for him to shoot, and then make a break for it. Uh, oh, that's going to... Alright, that's not so bad. I do have a lot of hearts. Okay, so let's stay on the ice. And now I don't think I have to worry about the dragon fire anymore. And then, oh, no, don't fall off. Okay, don't fall off, don't fall off. It's okay if you take hearts, just don't fall off. Okay, so now I'm here, and there's a thing spinning around. Do I have a screenshot of this? I don't have much of a screenshot, but I can see some. Okay, I've actually got a good feel for what's on the screen now, thanks to the dragon fire. So let's go up here, and then go nice and patiently. Don't fall off. Okay, watch out for the spikes over there. Watch out for the dragon fire. And then go to the north. Okay, and this is a new screen that I've never been to that looks like there's going to be a boss battle. Scary. So it looks like I'll be fighting on ice. I do have a meat shank if I need it, so let's just go up here and see what we get. Oh, three Grim Reapers? That's not so bad. It only takes like four or five hits to kill you and even drop some coins. All right, this should not be a problem at all then. And it looks like I'm free to skid around on the ice. Okay, great, that's all I needed to do. Let's just double check that there's nothing else in the room. It doesn't appear to be. So what do I win? A winner is me, I get a half heart. Since I've brought some coffee to some of the dwarves, let's see if this guy says something different. He still says the same thing. And it just occurred to me, there's a snow path up here. I can walk to the north, and I've never done this before. So hey, look at this. We are blocked off. So we'd have to come back this way to unlock a shortcut. Alright, something to look forward to. So here's another sliding ice cave, where previously I was not able to appreciate that there's one of these rocks over here. But I kind of turned around the last time I was here, so let's actually explore this room more thoroughly and carefully. So down here there is a chest with money! And if I go to the right of this room, we find ourselves here with an even stronger version of that big rock, possibly, because it doesn't have cracks. And some of these guys who are pain in the neck to fight, and they knock me back a lot. All right, come back here, crazy guy. Okay, you are dead. Also, other various rocks. 
but I can continue farther to the right. So let's see what's on this screen. Not a whole lot thus far. Trying to move slowly so that we're prepared for whatever comes up. Great. And, oh, a cave exit. This might bring me somewhere new. I'm higher up on the mountain. Neat. Okay, and there's one of these uh, snow pile monsters who's coming to deliver me some money. Awesome. Also, I'm like a white fox up here. I think these are not my normal colors. Huh. All right, well, if I go to the right, I think this will bring me up to the path to that big dungeon. Yeah, we'd kind of seen this before. Can I hookshot across this? Doesn't seem like it. There's a walkway over here. Why would I want to come here? Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here. Oh, except I can hookshot across here. Oh, neat. Okay. So just to see where we are, the big dungeon with some very bad guys was way up there. And the dragon is over here. Uh, but we're going to go to the right somewhere that I've never been before. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's another dungeon it looks like. Okay. Uh, I'm not in great shape right now, but we can at least take a peek inside to get a sense of what's in there. First off, I will also just verify that no other shenanigans are going on. Alright, well, what do we got inside here? Uh, there's like a cash register or sign-in sheet. It's like a lodge. Interesting. Uh, sense. These guys, it looks like they could, like, read inscriptions. Arno. Jennifer. Maccabius. Frack. Maybe this game was kickstarted and this is, like, the Kickstarter monument place? Because there hasn't been text elsewhere. It sounds like... There's, like, people fighting in a championship arena somewhere in the background, though. So maybe there's more to it. No bugs. These are probably testers. Dulraki. Bean Smarkus. Galaxikan. Jared Flame. Apologies if I'm destroying everybody's names. Alright, I'm scared to take a peek up here. It's totally a boss battle arena something something, and I'm not ready for it right now. <laughs> uh, so we'll come back. Well, I tried farming the snow piles outside for coins, um, but it was just being too slow. I was trying to see if I could get my health all the way back up. It's getting close now. Well, not anymore. <laughs> um, but I decided we'll come back to that arena some other day. Okay, so let's continue to explore. There's a chest over here that I'm not sure how I'm going to get to. Because it doesn't seem like I can step down or up over here. And if we go back here... Looks like I could then... Ouch! You were a snow pile ghost thingy. Can I hookshot? Yes! Over to this place. There's a guy up there I can't attack. But what do we find inside this house? Some type of new place that is going to be multi-screens and the wind is pushing against me. All right. So if we could just continue to the north. Ooh, we get new music. And now I can't just walk against it. What if I sprint? I can sprint against it. Okay, neat. And if I exit out up here... Uh, make it into north part of the world that doesn't have a map. Interesting. All right, but I can walk about freely. We've got snow piles. Any enemies in them? Any coins in them? There's a coin. And if I go over here... Interesting. And I don't know where I am on the map. This is almost like it's got a dungeon door in there, so I think this might actually be like a dungeon, but it's like an outdoor dungeon. What is that? I don't know. 
And what about to the north? Yeah, that's the type of stuff I've seen inside a dungeon before. So I think I'll start mapping this as a separate dungeon place. Well, the most interesting screen among these, to me, is this one. Oh! This is uh, slidey ice again, so be careful. Uh, there's a button here, if I stand on it, it will hold down the spikes so that I could get to the chest. So I need to push the push block onto it, clearly. Which on the slidey ice is going to be hard to do. Oh, the push block slides! And there's multiple push blocks, I understand. Okay, so what I need to do is push this to the right. It's going to go all the way to the right against that one. And then push this south. Ah, uh, come on, you can do it. Yeah, and then I can get to the chest. And the chest contains a key, which we could use to open the door. So yeah, I think I'm content to go ahead and spend the key immediately. So let's open this door and see where it takes us. Into this room, that's something I've never seen before. Oh my gosh! It has tons of knockback, whatever it is. Okay, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, can I kill you? I don't think I was dealing damage either, so I think you're just gonna push me around. Which I don't like. So... Uh, what do I think I'm trying to do here? I'm not sure yet. So I didn't really look at any of these screens. Okay, so this one just looks like that. The one up here gives me a way to go to the left. And this is a little bit friendlier because I can get onto the snow and then walk around. Yeah, I'm just going clink, 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 so I don't think I can defeat these guys. And they're homing in on me, and so this might be the end of me if I'm not careful. Any coins in here? To help heal me back up. Okay, so just don't let them fence me in. And I'm not sure why I would want to be doing things on that screen. So let's try going to the right over here, I suppose. And see what we encounter. Uh, here's some enemies I can kill. They're a little bit scary. But I can handle these guys. Okay, one's down, and then I see I'm going to have to get a push block onto a thingy. And let's just imagine that that's going to be possible. So if I come around here, push this to the left, let it slide. Hmm. If I push it down, I don't see how I'm going to push it to the right but I don't see any other choices that I have. So let's just try this, and then can I somehow... Hmm. Like stand here and push? No. Can I... Push you to the left and you bounce off? No. Can I swing my sword at you and do something? No. Did I have to have an enemy in the way? Let's just verify that standing on this brings down the spikes. It does. So in theory, that's how I would get to the treasure chest. Alright, well there's ways to go both south and north. So let's inspect what's on the screen to the south. Uh, perhaps a way back if I can unlock some switch. And can I think of anything different to do here? Not really. Okay, what happens if I go in the cave to the north? It brings me to a different room where guys are shooting at me. Alright, I'm getting low on health, but let's try that again. And this time, be ready to slide on the ice and then hookshot them. Uh, wrong button. Hookshot. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I got one of them. I missed you, but I'll get you the next time. Don't worry. Uh, okay, I hit the other guy. That's fine. And he dropped some coins. Okay, hookshot. You're gonna be my my go-to weapon here, but I'm going to need a key to open this door, which I do not currently have. I can get out of the water over here, 
So there's probably a key in the chest to the south, I'm guessing. My health is getting very low. What happens if I push this push block to the right? Is there any chance that this thing sticking on the pipe does something? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I'm not sure what the puzzle here is or what I'm not thinking of. So, where can I go at this point? Can I go to the north on this screen? Possibly. Is this an exit? It is. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a boss arena on ice. I feel like I'm going to die in this area regardless, so let's take a risk. Oh, I can just go straight to the chest? Nope. Oh, it's the mace guy. Uh, does my hookshot work against you? Kind of. Let's see if I can fight you at range some. Alright, I got a hit. Got a hit. Got a hit. Ouch.